everybody, it's Sam Mix at Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another project using the February um, kit by Hobby Base, and I have made another gift box using the 6x6 papers that you get in this month's pack. I think there was 10, yeah, 10 sheets altogether. So these are the last four that I'm using. So there's two on this one and then two on the one that I'm gonna actually make. So I've got a few kind of little variations of what I've done here because this, um, this month's uh, kit comes with this gorgeous birdcage die, which you would have seen me use on the gatefold card. And what I've done with this one is heat embossed it, but you can see I've just partially heat embossed it. And that's just by painting the Versamark, which is your watercolor um, pigment, this here. And I just dabbed it with the paintbrush and then painted it onto the birds and then just sprinkled my embossing powder over. So it gives it a really nice effect. Um, I've cut it out three times, layered them on top of each other to create a really nice hard kind of like embellishment. Um, and basically you could pop that on top and then I've just used the stamps that come with the kit, which I'll show during the tutorial. This one says, especially for you. And then I thought that could stick on top like so. But I also wanted to show a way where you can use it with the butterfly die because I know for a lot of people that have been using, I'm sorry, that have been subscribed to the kit for some months, they would have received the butterfly die, which is this one here. Okay, and I thought because the papers have got butterflies on them, it would look really nice with a butterfly die. So I'm just showing variations on how to decorate this box. Um, and again, if you just sit that butterfly in the middle there, and again, have that sentiment on an angle, do something like that it looks really really cute so those are just ways to decorate it close uh, closer up I'll bring the box up here you can see it's attached with a ribbon on both sides you can see the side view there and then on the back it's different print paper so I've just just showing ways to kind of even if you don't have um, multiple um, prints you know uh, sheets of the same print you can still mix different patterns together and they still look lovely so it's, it's kind of that sweety shape that I've done it's kind of evolved from that but I just wanted to show different ways um, of making really nice size boxes with six by six paper so this is using the two sheets like I said from the pack those are the little ways to decorate it. I'm also, um, I've used the ribbon there that also came in the kit. Unfortunately, I'm now out of that ribbon, so <laughs> I've used it on um, pretty much every project that I've made so far from this month's kit. So again, just showing other ways that you can make it. So pop that to one side. Let me just show you what we're making um, today. So the colors that I'm using. So that was the, um, ribbon that I had before so it was two meters so again I've used it all which is great that's why it's you get these kits you want to use all the stuff that the, you know that comes in them so that's now done and dusted but like I said you get the Versamark you get uh, this wow um, embossing powder you get your little stamp here these things will last you months and months even years um, so that's great and obviously your dies will last you you know however long um, and the stamps that you get as well which are this stamp set here okay and again I did mention that although this is a, a, a Valentine's themed kit this month you can use these stamps in other ways so I'm using the especially for you um, you know that now makes that a perfect little birthday box okay so it's you know that's not Valentine's -y at all so there are ways to use these kits um, away from what they are um, initially set up to be used for so that's the stamp set um, these are all the bits and pieces. So these are the last two pieces of the 6x6 paper that I've got. I will share up here a little drop down of all the other projects that I've made from the February box, just so you can see just how much you do get out of these um, monthly kits, because they are really good. So there's the two sheets that I've got there, and then I've just raided my scrap drawer, and I've got a matching, or as close as I can, matching um, purple, and I've just grabbed some purple ribbon as well. Okay, so if you've still got the pinky colour, then great, because that will work, because it will pull out the pink here and the butterflies. Um, otherwise, white would work really nice as well. If you're the same as me, if you've run out of this, white would go really nice with these papers also. Okay, so with okay. both my pieces, I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use this piece, because I think it will show up better in the video. So, pick one of the six inch size. What I would say is, um, I guess it doesn't really matter too much with this box, but this print these butterflies kind of go from left to right however i guess you would kind of look at the box 
this way. So just play around with how you want the print to, to sit really. So these two score lines that I'm doing here, you've got one and a half and four and a half. Those are these two pieces here. Okay, so you can see there that my print is facing upwards. So with this first one, with your one and a half and your four and a half score lines, I would suggest that your print is facing the right way up. Okay, then rotate it and you want to score at a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then at one and three quarters of an inch. So again, you should have another little quarter of an inch tab and then another one and a half inch piece here. Okay. Repeat that again on the second piece, I've already done mine, and then we can get all of that burnished. So just fold all of those score lines, like so. So that's what you should now have. So it depends which one, it doesn't really matter which is going to be your top or your bottom, because you're going to see both of them um, the same way, I guess, once we get to putting the um, ribbon on, then you can decide uh, you know, in more detail which way you want to do it. So first of all, we just need to do a little bit of cutting. So I'm just grabbing my scissors here. And if I again use this one here, because it's easier to show up the lines. So I've got the little quarter inch tab on the right hand side, far right, and then that piece here. So you want to cut up this score line here at the bottom and just cut it up to that first score line, like so. And then again, go to the outer one and just cut that up again just to the first score line and then you just want to remove that whole piece there that little thin one there all right and you should have that and then as I always do just take a little bit off all of the sides there just so you're creating a little notch so you've got more of a tab effect there okay if you've got any lumpy bits left from where you had the score line just remove that as well it just makes the closure of the box that little bit nicer and also um, this is obviously going to be what you will see so again here if I bring this is these pieces here so you want that score line to be really nice okay like so um, I'm just thinking actually I've told you to notch that you probably don't really need to because all these bits are doing is folding in but you can certainly just take a little bit off so if I rotate now and do this side and again if I just cut up this one here like so and again that one there I'm just going to remove that one completely like so and then with that one you can just leave it you don't really need to take anything off I am going to remove that score line like so because all that is is just going to be slotting inside like these ones they're just inside there so it's up to you there's no right or wrong that will work and so will that so there's one piece cut there. You want to do that exactly the same way on this second piece. Okay, so that's those two pieces now cut out. So you can see this one here, like so. All right, and again, with that one there, like so. And you've got this little tab here. Now, before we stick it all together, what you want to do is flip that one up. Doesn't matter if it, what, what side it is for the minute, just so they sandwich together, okay? Like so. And what you want to do, don't worry about these pieces matching up, but make sure that these big rectangle tabs match up with each other like so okay and then this is the one I've already done what you want to do so let me just fold away those ones for the minute so just with these two make sure that they are sitting over one another perfectly okay and then what you want to do is just grab a ruler let me check. so the width of this piece here is one and a half so you want to want you want to come down to three quarters of an inch, okay, and just put a little marker there. I've already marked with a pencil at three quarters of the way, and then pop your ruler down along this part. And where you've marked at three quarters, you want to mark at halfway. So it's a four and a quarter inch piece, so it'll be two and one eighth of an inch. And again, put a little marker there, just so you get the middle point of that rectangle, the centre point. Then from that centre point, just come out by half an inch from each side. Okay, so half an inch, half an inch. If I just bring this up, you should be able to make out, I've got two little pencil marks. So I've got a pencil mark there and a pencil mark there and there's the middle point. So from that middle point, you wanna mark half an inch and again, half an inch. And all that is, again, now making sure that they are perfectly lined up, okay, like so. And then all we're gonna do is hole punch over those half inch markers that we put in place. And by making sure these, bottom piece is lined up perfectly you know that you're getting a perfect match okay like so so again now 
what I can do is just flip this one over, sit it, sit this one. So we've just done those two together like so, all right? So I'm just removing one of them, turning it over. So now these two holes are here and put it over the top, okay? Now I can just see them here and then I can just go over the top of these. So rather than doing all that pencil marking again, you don't need to. That's that one, and then this one I'll put underneath this side. Again, making sure it's all perfectly lined up. And then again, I can just cut and um, put the whole punch over them. So now I know, when I lie this down, I've got perfect mirrored hole punched holes so that when we put it all together and we put the ribbon through, it will all match up nicely. Okay, so that's all of that prep done now. Then you need to grab some red tape. Okay, so you're just going to put, run some tape along your little tabs on the outside of each one. Like so. Okay, and then just take away the backing there on that side and then I'm just going to sit this over so make sure that your score lines here and here line up with the tops of that tab okay and also the top and the bottom of your actual ace um, six by six sheet should all line up nicely as well like so okay just want to make sure you get a really nice join and this all matches up you flip it over fold this one over and again just remove that backing And bring this one over and again just sit that all down like so. So now when we bring it all up you will have this box shape and then all you have to do is fold in these sides. So you see what I mean it didn't matter really that you didn't kind of notch them too much. Bring down those two and then you're just kind of curving it until they sandwich together like so. And again, like so. They will go together better once you put the ribbon through. But that's what you want. You can see now this, this you know, shape come together. The actual box itself, you can put it down. So you could have a box just like that if you want a simple you know, square box. This comes in and measures at three by um, four. Or just over, just over three by four. So again, it's a really nice um, size as well. So now let's do the decoration. So I have already got, I'm not going to die cut the butterflies or the birdcage again because I've already showed you, but I am just going to heat emboss the little sentiment here. So as I mentioned, sentiment here, and then I've got just a scrap piece of card. And again, I'm just going to pop some of my anti static. Um, powder over the top there just to remove any of the marks and then use that in a second so just with some Versamark I'm just going to ink up my sentiment okay and then just stamp that on here so this is the especially for you one which is uh, this one right at the very bottom here it's a really nice stamp set I think I said before I think it was 15 14 or 15 stamps so again, it's a really good set. So just make sure that's all stuck down. And then using the, this is the Champers Wow embossing powder that comes with the kit. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this over here. Just knocking off any excess. And this is really subtle, it just gives it a really nice shine. Again, when it catches the light, you can see it. You might not pick it up so well in the camera, but you can make it out there when it hits the light. It's a really nice little, sentiment there. So I'm just going to pop that. I've got my heat gun here. Just make sure it gets nice and hot first. Okay. Okay, so that is now all nicely set. You can just see it catching the camera there. All right. And then you can die cut this or run it through your trimmer. I'm just going to freehand cut this. It's a nice straight line, as straight as you can get it. Like I said, if you're not confident doing it this way, then just run it through your trimmer 
And then and the good thing with these boxes as well is that you can make them now and they will um, you can store them flat. So like so, but just you can keep it stored like that and keep the ribbon that you're going to use for it just inside. Um, so it's always nice um, if you just like making things and you haven't always got someone to give them to straight away. It's always nice if they can be stored, which these can. Okay, so that's fine. A little bit wonky, I think, but hey ho. And then I've just got some of this scrap card. And I'm just going to put my red tape along the back there. If you want to put it on some foam, you can do. Like so. And then I'm going to pop it into the corner. So you're already two of your sides for your little like frame are already done. Like so. And then you just need to cut the other two sides. Like so. So now you can see if I keep it down there you can probably see it a bit better. You've got a nice frame sentiment. Okay. So now with our ribbon, so I've got two pieces here. These measure roughly 12 inches. So decide, now this is when I said, you know, now is the time to decide where which you want to be your top or your bottom. So obviously your bow is going to be tied up this way. So you've got that side or you've got that side. And I think I'm going to use this side because I think the bow, the butterfly, sorry. Yeah, you can see the butterfly much more on this side than you can the other. But you can see they complement each other. They're the same print from the same pack, so it all works really well together. Now, what you can also do is you're, you're only going to open this from one side, but I guess the person you give it to won't really know what side that is that you're going to open it from. So um, I would say maybe don't glue one side down. I was just going to say maybe you could glue one down, but I probably wouldn't. So starting from the bottom here, just thread through your ribbon. So do both sides, like so, and then again, thread it through to the top, like so, and then just tie it in a nice bow. Okay, so there's one of the bows done. You can just kind of move it around so it all lines up and stays in place, and I'm just going to cut that off there, and again, just tidy that end up like so. so. If I just bring that up there you can see how that's all come together. Okay so now you would obviously put in whatever it is that you're going to gift and then just want to do the same with the other end. I just need to rub out that pencil mark okay, there as well. Okay so if I now bring that up you can see what a really cool unusual box that you get. So now I just need to finish it off with decoration so I think it was that way there. So this one I am going to stick this bow um, Bow. I keep saying bow, I don't know why I'm saying bow. I'm going to stick the butterfly. Um, if you want to layer it up a bit more and die cut a couple of butterflies, you can do, um, as I've done in other tutorials before. But I'm just going to do the one and just position it however you want to. Sit it like so. And then this one here, I think I might put it on some foam backing actually. I've got okay. some here. And then I'm going to have that. Maybe at the bottom? No, it's going to go at the top there, just again on an angle. Mark. Okay, so, so there you have it. So I've just um, stuck all that one down there so you can see how pretty that looks from all the sides. So you just open up one end with the bow, or oh, you can rip it open. <laughs> um, if some of you saw my um, recent Facebook um, uh, little um, photos I put up, I put up one of um, a box that my nan ripped apart and um, I just joked and said how it was like. Um, you know it was a real sad moment to kind of see all that hard work just ripped apart but then I joked and said it was actually really nice to see my nan was so happy to receive it and that's what it's all about for me I'm, I'm not too fussed about where these things kind of end up as long as they bring joy to people which is why we do it so um yeah so they could be ripped apart or undone with the bows um and then I've stuck this one down now so you can just see how that one finishes off nicely there with the bird um cage which is what is the actual dye that comes with the kit but as I mentioned before if you do have the butterfly dye um, from previous kits then you can add that to it as well and if you don't have the kits and you're just watching this normally you can just use any 6x6 papers and any dyes and ribbons and stuff of your choice but if you are also interested in joining the hobby 
um, based club which is to receive the monthly um, kits then just follow the links that I will share with you all below. So there is um, another tutorial from me today, I hope you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!